Whatever. To take a step back and more focusing on your channel, yep. for anyone that hasn't seen it, and obviously I'm familiar with it, could you explain a little bit about what you do on YouTube and how they would define you? Yeah, so a lot of people would probably uh, define me as the annoying Thai-speaking Australian guy who annoys Thai people on the streets of Sydney by doing interviews about all different random topics. Um, maybe some people wouldn't be as harsh as that, but I uh, do a lot of content around Thailand, around Australia, the relationships between them around the immigrant journey to Australia uh, through the lens of Thailand. And I do a few different skit style videos as well around Thailand. But a lot of people have now come to see me as this guy who speaks Thai on the internet. Uh, I'd like to think the channel is a little bit more than just that, but I'm thankful that I have been some kind of inspiration for a lot of foreigners who are learning Thai and for a lot of Thai people learning English. So uh, the channel is really to do with kind of being a bridge between Thailand and the rest of the world, showing a different side mm -hmm. to Thailand that most people never see because the reality is uh, uh, most, of, most of the media that shows Thailand uh, portrays it in a different way to it actually is. So I really try and get some raw perspective, some raw opinions of Thai people. And I'm pretty proud of that. Do you think that the answers from the Thai people in Australia are going to be much more open and raw and possibly the same questions asked in Bangkok, people will feel a bit held back because they're in the country? Yes, I think so. And I think generally the Thais who move to Australia probably have more of an open mind just because they've lived abroad. They've had the opportunity to live abroad. They've had the opportunity to compare both cultures, both the West and the East. And so they probably have a little bit more of an informed opinion. That's partly been part of the success of the channel because at the end of the day, when you're going on interviewing people, the people make the content, like their opinions and their personalities and what they say on camera makes the content. I don't know whether if I did it in Bangkok, it would have the same effect. I still think it would. I think once you speak Thai, and once you open up and have a natural persona and can engage with people in a nice conversational way, people are pretty willing to give their opinions on, on, on most topics anyway. Yeah. yeah. Have you had like some interviews that, you know, they don't make it to YouTube where even the people, they might even give the answer and they say, oh, wait a minute, can we not yeah, release it's, that? It's, it's happened a bit. It's happened a Usually, bit. Usually like what type of topics does that relate to? Or could it just think, be anything? I think most people could guess in Thailand, okay. to be honest. I don't really need to mention it. Yeah, well, I, 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 we, we, we're the same. Like we yeah. don't cross lines because yeah. we love, no, I, it's different. When I was in China, if this was filmed in China, I would say I love China, but yeah. I probably don't. But no, <laughs> no, no, no. Like I think, like I've made plenty of different, uh, videos that show both the positives and negative sides of Thailand. I don't really hold back with most topics. Um, I think that's been partly the success of the channel because like everyone always shows like Thailand usually pretty positively, come eat food, eat, travel here, do this, do that. But you never really see the raw opinions of people that much. Um, and I think that's why people have enjoyed it. And it's, to be honest, a really good resource for anyone learning Thai. It's one of the only resources on the internet which has subtitles for everything. And, um, using words that you would actually use in conversation. So is, is your audience primarily on YouTube Thai or is it kind uh, of a 50-50? It's probably about 50-50. It's probably like 30% Thai and then 70% international. But I did a meetup, which was probably the proudest part of my YouTube career last Friday. And uh, there's about a bit over 200 people came and it was about 50% Thai and 50% foreign. And that, that was your first meetup in Thailand? Ever. Or ever. Never I've never hosted a meetup before. Would you host one in Australia? A hundred percent. Now that the, I think I was always just shy. It's kind of like a daunting thing to be like, come and a bunch of like people that I haven't met, come and mm -hmm. join and hang out. But I think I'd definitely do it again. I'd love to do one in Sydney. I think it'd be cool, especially now that the borders have opened up. So a lot of new ties have come across. So it'd be a good way to like welcome them to see how they're going, that kind of thing. I'd love to do something like that and just kind of create those connections between people like both foreign and Thai.